Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you very much. Welcome to the official rededication ceremony of the renovated Natalie Student Center at California University of Pennsylvania. I am Larry Seebeck, Associate Vice President for Student Affairs. And on behalf of President Jones, our trustees, and the university community, I am pleased to welcome all of you here this afternoon as we celebrate this occasion. At this time, I am pleased to introduce our platform party. Geraldine M. Jones, 1979 alumnus, uh, Larry Mag Maggi, who is also chairman and uh, California University Council of Trustees chairman and commissioner of Washington County, Larry. Mr. Aaron Walton, 1968 alumnus, member, Board of Governors of the Pennsylvania State System of Higher Education and member of the Council of Trustees. Ms. Annette Ganassi, Vice Chair, Council of Trustees. Ms. Robin Betts, member, Council of Trustees. Dr. Bruce Barnhart, Acting Provost, Vice President for Academic Affairs. Mr. Robert Thorne, Vice President for Administration and Finance. Dr. Nancy Pinardi, Vice President for Student Affairs. Mr. Brendan Gary, President, California University Student Government. And Mr. Doug Shuck with WTW Architects. Also at this time, we are pleased to have the following representatives with us today from companies who contributed to this magnificent facility. Also from WTW Architects, Greg Smith, from Management Engineering Corporation, also known as MEC, we have George Clendaniel, Kelly Clendaniel, Mr. Tom Jamison, Big Danny Grubbs, Ken Ross, and then from HMAC, who was our kitchen consultant, Rich Sternoski and Paul Berneski. And then also from Merritt Electrical Group, we have Angie, Andy Mitchell, Scott Wallace, and Mark Booney. At this time, I would like to introduce the following individuals who are also with us today from Harrisburg. We have Ms. Lewis Johnson, Associate Vice Chancellor for Administration and Finance for the Pennsylvania State System of Higher Education. We have Mr. Andrew Lehman, Chief Legal Counsel to Pennsylvania State System of Higher Education, and Ms. Jacqueline Morrow, University Legal Counsel to California University of Pennsylvania. Today we will hear from a variety of speakers. We are, they will follow in this order. Chairman Maggi, Mr. Shuck, Dr. Pernardi, Dr. Barnhart, Mr. Thorne, and then Mr. Gary, followed by President Jones. Chairman. Thank you and, and welcome everybody and good afternoon. This is an exciting time for uh, California University, not only the university, but for Washington County. And, and as I stand up here representing the Council of Trustees, who some members are here today, and also I represent the 210,000 people here in Washington County. Th this type of building is so essential now to our educational process now. No longer do students come to a institution of higher learning just because of the academics or just because of uh, certain other aspects of college life. They have choices now. And we are, we are finally, and we, we always have been there, but we are getting into where we're very competitive because now students have choices. Now students have the ability to look and compare. And I think with this new state of the art that we're going to be dedicating here today, we, we show that. The California University is continuing to move forward. Uh, I was mentioning, I was talking to some folks earlier. I was here as a student in 1972. I remember I was just fresh out of the Marine Corps. Uh, we had the dedication here right up front. Uh, it was June of 1972, I believe, and, and I happened to be here for that dedication of, of this student union. And they basically were saying the same thing as we're saying now. Uh, but it, even, it is even more so important that we remember that. And it, it, higher education is a competitive process. And that's what we're doing now. We're staying competitive. Uh, California is moving forward. Uh, there's a great team in place to do that. And this is an exciting day for this rededication. So we wish the best of luck in the future for this center and the continued success at Cal U. Thank you.
Good afternoon. It's nice to see all of you here after what happened in the past uh, 24 months taking place here. These are exciting times for the university community, its students, parents, faculty, and administrators. And as we rededicate the Natale Student Center, and as we like to believe, is the heart, soul, and gathering place of the university, celebrating university life and events. WTW Architects is proud and honored to have been selected to be a partner on the development team for the expansion and re-imaging of the Student Center. We felt an important relationship to this project because we were the architects for the 92 expansion of the Natale Center, as well as some of the early development programming studies that were done for the current project. And we were the architects for all of the surrounding student housing in this particular important campus neighborhood. Exciting architecture is achieved when there is a vision and a mission evolved by the team comprised of three entities. Certainly the owner, which is made up of students, administrators, and university staff, and the architects and their design team, and the contractors who actually put this building together. We had the leadership role to coordinate this team, bringing the university vision and programming to life with our three-dimensional design, unifying the context of the existing building with the expansion project. I want to especially acknowledge Larry Seebeck, Mike Peplinski, Doug Phelps, and the late David Wine for their tireless contributions to this project and working with our team of people to achieve this result. And I also wish to thank Nello Construction for leading that team of contractors. Your vision and our creative design details enabled the building we see today. We have created spaces and volume. However, the true architecture and life of this student center will be the dynamic and unique university experiences, programs, and friendships that alumni, students, and the university community will share, resulting in an atmosphere and gathering place which will reflect the spirit and culture of California University of Pennsylvania. W2W thanks, us, thanks you for inviting us to be a partner in this exciting opportunity. Good afternoon. I'm very pleased to be here today as we celebrate this beautiful renovation. Those of us involved in student affairs are very proud of this incredible facility because it provides much needed space for our well-deserving students. This facility is a great testament to the many individuals, from architects to contractors to our own employees and most importantly, our most deserving students, who succeeded in offering a facility with multitudes of opportunities for not only our students, but for others in the community as well. That was not an easy task, to say the least, but it absolutely appears that these efforts have been realized in this facility. I know that our many student leaders, including Brendan Gary, who you will hear from in a few minutes, and the student affairs staff are very appreciative, excited, and proud to be able to spend our time here. And we thank President Jones and the Council of Trustees and all the many individuals who made this possible. To our students gathered here today, please take advantage of all that this facility has to offer. From the additional meeting space to the awesome dining facilities and all the available amenities, please enjoy and make good use of these opportunities. This renovated building was student-led and student-approved, and your fees made all of this possible. So I encourage you to take in all the Natalie Student Center has to offer and to make it your own. Thank you for being here today, and enjoy your time here. Good afternoon. It's great to be here as we celebrate the rededication of the Natale Student Center. Vice President Pernardi mentioned all the great student amenities provided in this facility. And as acting provost, I'm very pleased that we're housing academic services 
uh, in this facility in order to be more accessible to students with these much needed services. The Career and Professional Development Center and Internship Center have a prominent location in this building, and that's due to the importance that California University places on all we can do to ensure that our students um, are provided with good paying jobs relevant to their major once they graduate and they're ready to enter the workforce. Preparing for this, however, starts years prior to graduation, so I encourage our students here today to stop by and visit the Career and Internship Center. Staff members will be able to provide you with invaluable advice and support so that when you're ready to graduate and join the, our alumni ranks, you'll be prepared to enter into the workforce. As an alumnus of California University, I'm very proud of the opportunities that this institution continues to provide to our students. As acting provost, I'm equally proud that President Jones, the Council of Trustees, and our faculty and staff do all that they can to ensure that California University of Pennsylvania is an institution that truly puts the needs of our students first. And this renovated facility is certainly proof of that. To all of our students who supported the initiative to renovate this building and continue to support it through student fees, we commend you for your boldness and initiative, which many present and future students will enjoy. Congratulations and thank you to all who were involved with the renovation of this facility and thank you for including important academic services into the plans. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm very pleased to join all of you here today for this special event. To, to those of us who have worked closely on this project, we are pleased to share this occasion with you. The rededication of the Natale Student Center celebrates work and com commitment by so many individuals. As the Vice President for Administration and Finance, I am honored to have worked with a number of professionals on this very successful project. First, I want to extend my gratitude to Larry Seaback for his assistance and guidance during the course of this renovation. We could not have done this project without him. As well as to Mike Poplinski, Director of Facilities Management, and Doug Felp, University Architect. I'd also like to thank Doug Shook and WTW Architects, George Leisure and Nello Construction, Tom Jamison and Management Engineering Corporation, Tower Engineering, Barber and Hoffman, Rika New Newmark, East West Manufacturing and Supply Company, the Shipley Brothers Construction, Alliance Fire Systems, Merritt Electrical Group, HMAC Incorporated, G GB Planning, and a number of other subcontractors and professionals. The list is quite lengthy, but we certainly appreciate all the collaborative work that a project of this size demands. And most importantly, I thank our craftsmen and professionals in our facilities management department who do an exemplary job every day, and this project was no exception. All of these professionals created this beautiful facility, and I thank each of you for such an outstanding result. I will share with you that over the course of the construction phases of this project, our teams, both university and non-university, were challenged almost daily in completing the work on the project while parts of the facility were still occupied. Thousands of man hours were spent from the design through the construction phases in order to deliver a finished product that our students and staff would be proud and excited to occupy. Over the course of this project, there was an incredible number of meetings, from budget, design and planning meetings, to frequent on-site visits. Week by week, we witnessed this building transform into a beautiful, functional, and awe-inspiring facility for our students. The workmanship and attention given to this project is evident throughout the renovation, and I thank all of those who were involved. I could not include my remarks today without mentioning the work and leadership provided by the late Dave Wine, who served as our university project manager. Dave provided outstanding leadership and insight into this facility renovation through the design and construction phases, as he did with many other buildings on campus during his 14-year career at Cal U. Though Dave passed away in February without seeing the final stages of this project completed, I am confident that we'd be very pleased with the final results. Again, I extend my thanks to so many individuals for their commitment 
to ensuring this facility renovation will benefit generations of students. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Brendan Gary, and I'm proud to serve as your student government president. I would like to thank all of you for joining us today on this historic occasion. It seems like yesterday that I was on the, voting on the referendum to complete this project back in 2011. And here I am, four years later, seeing the entire process all the way through. I see some of the puzzled look on your faces. I have been here that long. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen everything through the food court and the performance center and our offices in our classroom of Watkins Hall. It was very nice to see the completed project. I'd like to thank Larry Seebeck and his staff for making this dream become a reality. The students' needs and interests were truly put forward when the renovation of this building was planned. I encourage all the students to utilize everything this facility has, the, has to offer and try all the fa fantastic dining services that AVI has to offer as well. This is our student center, so I ask that you treat it that way. Make yourself at home, be respectful to the people around you, and be proud of our building. We at the Student Government Association are always welcome to feedback, whether it's good or bad. So please, feel free to stop by and speak to us at any time. Our, our offices are located next to the Vulcan Theater in Natalia 101, and we meet Mondays at 415 in room 319. Thank you again for joining us on this special occasion. Welcome, and thank you all for, for being here today as we officially rededicate the Elmo Natale Student Center. This facility has been through a number of transformations over the years, but it has always played a central role on our campus life. It is a hub for educational, cultural, and social activities that complement the academic experience for our Cal U students. It is the heart of our university community where students can find support and find opportunities to grow through volunteerism and service. It is a source of nourishment for both body and spirit. Over the past two years, this student center has been modernized, expanded, and revitalized. Today, we acknowledge the hard work of all those who brought about this renewal, in particular, I want to thank our students who not only envisioned a more functional and welcoming student center, but also agreed to support the renovation project. Years ago, students like Brendan Gary voted to take on the expense of building and maintaining this facility so that the current and future students would have a center that truly meets their needs. I thank our Council of Trustees for their support of this project. I appreciate the hard work of the, of the many administrators and staff who guided this construction process. And I applaud the hundreds of workers who contributed to making this student center a source of pride for the entire campus community. The primary mission of California University is the education of our students. And education takes many forms. This building is home base for a number of organizations and services that support our students while teaching important lessons in collaboration, service, personal responsibility, and work-life balance. Among them are student government, Greek life and student activities, the Women's Center and Inviolence Center, the Center for Volunteer Programs and Service Learning, the Office of Commuter and Non-Traditional Student Services, the Career and Professional Development Center, the Internship Center, the Mac Lab and the Student Media Operations, our campus ministries, and of course, the Student Association Incorporated and the Office of Student Affairs. All these groups are now housed in this building where they can readily connect with our students. 
that they serve. As many of you know, in 1992, this facility was named in honor of Elmo Natale, an Emeritus Vice President of California University. Mr. Natale spent many years as Vice President for Student Affairs, and a similarly transformative renovation of this building occurred during his final years of his term. Elmo Natale's devotion to our university and to our student continue to inspire us, and his spirit lives on through the good work of Vice President Dr. Nancy Pernardi, the Student Affairs staff, and our student leaders. Although Elmo Natale could not be with us today, we want him to know of our respect and affection for him. Thank you for joining us today. I encourage you to tour the building and see for yourself what wonderful spaces and important services are here for our students. And please, don't forget to sample the delicious food. This is a facility that all of us can be proud of. And I encourage our students to take full advantage of the opportunities here in this magnificent student center. Thank you. Thank you, President Jones and members of our platform party. Uh, President Jones, I know Mr. Natale and our current students will be very proud of your remarks. Thank you. <clears throat> At this time, we will have, have the students from the University Choir lead us in the singing of the first verse of our alma mater. Following the alma mater, we will have an official balloon drop officiated by student government president Brendan Gary, who moved himself over there. Thank you, sir. For all of our guests, please make sure that you receive a commemorative photo right there on the table. Thank you very much. There is a limited supply, so grab them quickly, please. And then also, I would like to invite anyone who hasn't toured the facility, stop down at the information desk. We have student tour guides available. And for your dining pleasures, each of the dining locations in this building will have a sample of their offerings. So every floor has something going on. We had a wonderful open house program this week. Everyone participated in it. This is gonna you know, be the icing on the cake that's out in the, in front of flats, or in front of flats, in front of Monaco out there. So stop by and have some cake as well, but enjoy the food. And I thank you and have a wonderful day. Choir. Thank you. 